What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to Mindful Games. I'm Bryce. In this video, I want to talk about the body game and seven unique things that you experience as a skinny guy. Now, if you're like me and you're naturally a skinny guy, if you don't work out, you know, you might be a hard gainer, got that high metabolism. You know, it's like if you miss a meal, you miss two or three pounds. So if that if that's you, this list is to not discourage you. This is to motivate you and to just share some things that I've experienced on my journey. And maybe you'll experience some of these as well. So use these as motivation and not to discourage you. And with that being said, I want to highlight that the body game is about maximizing your frame, maximizing your genetics. You know what I mean? I want you to just maximize what you have and learn to be comfortable within your own skin. That's what this body game journey is about. All right, but let's get right into the list. The first unique thing that you'll experience on body game as a skinny guy is that you step out of this spotlight of this youthful little boy kind of image that you have. When you're skinny and weak and frail, you just look like a little boy. You don't look like you can do much. You know, and once you start working out and putting on a little bit of muscle, you step more into like your masculine frame. You, you, you look stronger. You look more capable. And that's one of the first things you'll start to experience as a skinny dude once you get on your body game journey. The second unique thing that you'll experience is you start to build your foundation for strength. All right. Like I said, once you start working out, you start to look more capable. You can start to carry groceries and, and get it all in one trip. You're not making seven trips to carry groceries. You're starting to notice you can carry a case of soda or, well, I don't drink soda and hopefully you're not either, but you can, you can carry things at one time. You, you can grab a bunch of stuff and you're just able to do more. Things don't feel so heavy to you. And that's what the body game will do. You start to build your foundation of strength. It's like a house. You know, you, that foundation has to be strong. The third unique thing you experience as a skinny guy is you start to get more attention. You start getting looks from men and women. You know, and I'm talking about just like walking through the grocery store. You, you're going to get more attention because you stand out. You don't look like everybody else. And this goes for people who are my size. This goes for you don't have to be the biggest guy. People know how much work it takes to build a physique. So when they see you, you're like, huh, that guy looks like he does something. Like I said, it may be unwanted attention. It may be attention that you're not used to getting, but it's going to come whether you want it or not. So just be prepared for that. The fourth unique thing you experience on Body Game as a skinny dude is you start to look bigger than you actually are. Now, I've noticed this on my journey. I've been in the gym and have a tank top on and people think I weigh 175 pounds. I've, I've had people actually say that. They'd be like, what you up to? You up to like 170, 175? And I just laugh like, hell yeah, I'm looking good. You know, because no, I don't weigh that much. I weigh like 155, you know? And sometimes I'm even lower depending on how my diet has been on a particular week. But when you're naturally a skinny guy and you start building muscle, because your body fat percentage is already so much lower, that muscle that you're building and cultivating, it gives you a bigger, fuller appearance. You don't have any fat on you really. All you got is muscle. So you got muscle on these bones and people are like, huh, how, how big is this guy? I've even done this, seeing people in the gym and I've asked a dude like, yo, what, how much you weigh? The guy might look like he weighs 165, 170, but he only weighs 145. It's because of the quality of muscle that he's building and he doesn't have very much body fat on him. So it gives that illusion that you weigh more than you actually weigh. Number five, you start to fill out your clothes better. If you're somebody who wears kind of fitted clothing like me, I like to wear slim fit shirts. I like to wear things that accentuate the work that I'm putting in in the gym. You know, you fill out things better. You start to notice this, man. Just things fit tighter. You know, you just look better. You look in the mirror like, damn, yeah, this shit hitting. You don't want to be looking like you got your dad's clothes on, things falling off you. Like, we don't do that anymore. I used to do that when I was a kid. Everything hanging off me. You look like a, a clothes hanger. So that's one thing you'll notice, too. And clothes are going to be hitting a little bit better. The sixth unique thing you experience on body game as a skinny guy is that you start to motivate other people around you. I've had people come up to me in the gym while I'm working out like, hey, how do you how would you do this? These incline flies. And that's all based off of the physique that they're seeing. It's they're based that off of what they're being presented with, what their eyes are being presented with. And it it sparks questions in them. Like, how did you get that? I always get uh, that I have nice shoulders and you know, I have people like, yo, how do you how do you get your shoulders to look like that? Most of us don't even know you got three different heads of your shoulder. You know, I had to learn this too on my journey. So these are just examples that I'm giving that once you start on your journey, you start to motivate other people and it sparks questions, curiosity in people. Maybe your friend group, 
They want to know how did you change your physique? If this video has provided you any value so far, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps with the reach of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel too so that you know when I drop more content just like this. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this list up. The seventh unique thing that you experience as a skinny guy is that your identity changes. Your self-identity and the perception that people have of you. I remember I had a friend of mine, he said, you like a, a, like a cornerback for the Eagles. And uh, that was like one of the biggest compliments that I had ever gotten because no longer was I being called skinny anymore. It was like I was stepping into this new realm, you know? And of course, I'm not a cornerback that can play on an NFL team, but when somebody sees you and to their eye and to their visual, they're like, hmm, you've changed how I've seen you before. And your self-identity changes as well because you're not used to seeing yourself that way. When you start looking in the mirror and you start putting on quality muscle, man, you, you see yourself as a different person. When you start picking up groceries and you're like, this shit ain't even heavy. You realize that you're more capable. You can do more. And all this builds confidence and it also changes people's perception of you. Hopefully you got some value out of this list. Be sure to check out the playlist I have on Body Game. And I got some good stuff in there that hopefully helps you on your journey as well. All right, I'll be sure to leave that up here. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.